Hey there, my name is Francisco Perez and this is Jaguar Talk. Students are back on campus this fall semester. Faculty and staff have worked incessantly to ensure a safe return to campus and provide greater learning opportunities online. Did you know that you can participate in sports, activities, and clubs or in organizations, whether you're an in-person student or online? We're here with Daniel Garza, Student Activity Specialist, to tell us all about exciting opportunities happening this semester. Hey there, Daniel, how's it going? Good, how about yourself? Pretty good. So your main concentration is intramural sports. Can you tell us what uh, sports are available for students? So yeah, for sure. We have a whole lot of sports available for our students regardless of whatever campus they are attending, right? So we have flag football, we have dodgeball, we have volleyball, softball, we have indoor and outdoor volleyball as well. So, you know, all of these sports are available for the students regardless of whatever campus you are attending. And besides that, we also do have a lot of different activities uh, here on the campus. Uh, in regards to sports, we have things like triathlons and stuff like that available for our students if they're interested in participating in any one of those activities. So now that we're talking about tournament opportunities, can you tell us what some of those opportunities are? Yeah, for sure. So we, as I said, we do have a bunch of leagues available for the students, whether it's flag football, volleyball, softball, or anything like that. And what we do is we get some of those students that are participating in some of those teams. We get the best ones from there. We pin them up against some of the other colleges around here to see who is the best team here. And how do students sign up for these sports and who qualifies? So any student, regardless if you are dual enrollment, if you are taking classes online, or you're in here, you know, in, in campus in person, you do qualify to go in and participate in any one of the activities that we do happen to put on, even faculty and staff. So, you know, if some of the professors are interested in getting down and kind of, you know, participating with some of the students, they're more than welcome to do so as well. And you can sign up for any one of our leagues or any one of our sports through an application called I Am Leagues, all right? This is something you can access online, or you can just go ahead and download the application and kind of do everything through the phone, right? So once you go ahead and make your profile, all you go ahead and do is just search for the school. And then once you go ahead and search for our school, right, South Texas College, all of our sports and all of our things are going to go ahead and come out through there. And you can just click one by one and sign up for whichever ones you want to go ahead and sign up for. And you know, some of these sports that students are looking for may not be available, but they always have the opportunity to start their own teams. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So let's just say if you are in a group, right? You and a couple of friends want to get together and participate, you can form an entire team, right? And you guys can go ahead and participate like that. Now, let's say it's the opposite of that, right? Let's just say you're just looking to go ahead and, you know, engage with some like-minded individuals. You want to participate in a sport, you can go ahead and sign up by yourself as a free agent and we can go ahead and put you on another team that may happen to need a couple of players. Earlier you mentioned eSports. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, for sure. Look, let me go ahead and show you. All right. All right, Frank. So as you can see, we're inside of the student lounge right here, right inside of building H. And we have a couple of our students playing some of the video games that we have available for them, right? So we do have, like I said, we're making a big push for eSports and it's not just here, but it's around the entire United States. So what we're doing is we're trying to provide another opportunity for students to go ahead and become involved in some sort of sporting activity, right? Which is where this goes ahead and comes in. So we do have everything from like Madden, NBA 2K, even things up to like Smash Brothers and stuff like that. We have all of that available for our students. And this is especially uh, important for students who are taking classes at home as well. Yeah, for sure. Like I said, they can do it from the comfort of their own home if they want to go ahead and get involved, right? Student activities and involvement is something that's really big here at the college and that, you know, they can do that from the comfort of their own couch now. In terms of tournaments, what is available for students? So just like everything else that we have, you know, as far as like our traditional sports, right? Uh, Esports is no different. We do have something called like the volleyball, right? It's gonna be, they're making a big push for that this coming semester. And what it is, we're gonna get some of the best video game athletes that we have here at this college. And we're gonna pin them up against some of the other colleges that we have around here. Other than intramural sports, how else can students participate around campus? So we have a lot of different clubs, organizations, and events that we put on throughout the entire semester, right? So as the semester is going to start, we have things like Welcome Week, and we celebrate this is September, and we know we have Fall Festival, and all these things that students can go ahead and look to participate in. And those are just our events, right? That's not including the Student Leadership Academy that we have in the Student Government Association. And we encourage students to go onto our website and they can see all those opportunities on there. Yeah, for sure. We have a calendar of all of the events that we put on, right? And we also promote it throughout the entire school year right so if they're looking for anything like that they can go ahead and like you said they can access it online or you know just kind of roam around the campus and we'll go ahead and get to them. Two of the opportunities that I want to highlight are uh, the SLA and SGA. Can you tell us more about those? Yeah, for sure. So the Student Leadership Academy is something that we put on and our sole job is to go ahead and provide our students with the resources that they need to be proper student leaders. Right? This is something that's oftentimes overlooked and it's something that we want to capitalize on, right? We want to better prepare our students to go ahead and be successful, not just inside of the classroom, but outside of the classroom as well. 
So what we also have is we also have the Student Government Association, right? Or what we call SGA, right? And what this is, this is the voice of the student body, right? So if you want to go ahead and get involved, if you're a student that want, you know, wants to make some changes here on campus, the Student Government Association is a perfect thing for you guys to go ahead and get uh, involved in, right? They make a lot of the changes here on campus. And if it's something like, let's say for a student that's participated in like student government in high school, this is a great transition for them. Well, thank you, Daniel, for telling us about all this information. Yeah, of course. And if any of the students have any questions or anything like that, you know, they can just go ahead and reach out to us uh, online, right? Or they can go ahead and come on the Building H and, you know, we're always going to be wandering around and helping them out. Thank you for tuning in. Join us next month to learn more about best studying practices with the CLE. Remember, Jaguars, stay exceptional and keep on learning.